super excited today uh, marks my seven year anniversary, my seven year business anniversary. Hey, Pichard. Hey, Imani. Good morning. Good morning, PJ826. And, uh, I, you know, I was thinking about all of these things that I could come on and think about. And I'm always one of those people that I'm like, nobody really wants to hear my story. Nobody really cares. But I did. Good morning, Tasha. Good morning, Trishana, Tanya. I did. Watch the water, Miss Rosemary. Just turn it real low. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I did want to tell you my story. And not only telling you my story, I want to tell you how it can be possible for you guys to. Good morning, Shawana. Um, so seven years ago, almost to the day, almost to the day, uh, I started um, the journey to, good morning, F, uh, SFZ, to what you guys see in front of you. Good morning, Prof- Prophetic Teacher. Welcome back. Uh, and if you guys could share the broadcast, make sure you share the broadcast. Uh, we're going to be giving away $20 gift cards to my digital store. Good morning, Eyelashpreneur. And y'all can tell me congratulations. Yeah, yeah, you can say, you know, uh, congratulations, coach. Because not everybody will get free and not everybody is free. And it has been a journey. Hey, Bonita, good morning. Thank you, D. Morris. Uh, it's, it's been a journey. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, thank you, Liz. Coach, love you. So, but I wanted to uh, not just celebrate that, but I wanted to tell you guys how you can do it yourself. Uh, and I think it's super important that I share uh, the journey. So first and foremost, I had to address my fear. And my fear was not only deep and deep rooted. I was deep rooted in comfort. I was deep rooted in fear. Uh, a lot of different types of fear. Um, fear of success, fear of failure. Thank you, Felicia. Good morning. Good morning, Aubrey. Uh, I was deep rooted in procrastination. Does this sound like anybody I know? Because I had a check coming in, it was very difficult for me to ever think that I could be free or that anybody could ever um, pay me what the job was paying me. Good morning, Verlin. So I hope this story helps you guys. But the very first thing, the very first thing I had to do is I had to fight two major battles. Really three. The first battle that I had to fight was against my fear. And I had to realize everything that fear was keeping me from. I'm going to just give you about 15 seconds to think. Just 15 seconds. Hey, Pastor John, I want you to think where you would be right now if failure were not an issue. If resources were not an issue. If knowledge were not an issue. Where would you be right now? And what I had to realize, good morning, Renew 127. What I had to realize Is that everything that I wanted was on the other side of of fear. And Shawana, you know, fear actually causes a lot of people to freeze. Uh, Fear actually, uh, right, D D said I'd be at Sam's Club buying flour if it wasn't for fear. There's actually three different scientific. Hey, good morning, Denise. There are three different scientific responses to fear. People always talk about fight or flight. But there's a different one called freeze. Hey, hey Lisa Mosu, how you doing, sis? Hey, Sheree. Um, there's a different one called freeze. And so that's what most of us do when confronted with fear. But in that 15 seconds that I gave you to think about exactly where you would be If fear were not a factor, what you should have uncovered, hey, good morning, good morning, my energizer, Bunny Jen, what you should have uncovered is that fear is really not an option for you. So one of the first things I had to do, I had to fight fear. One of the second things I had to do was I had to get a new understanding of money. 
I had to get a new understanding of money. And I'm actually going to be talking about that tomorrow night. I'll be doing a live presentation in Dallas called Herstory. Not history, but herstory. In honor of International Women's Day, the presentation is only $9. But I'm going to be talking about the truth about women and money. How we can earn more, save more, and invest more. And that's what you guys said you wanted me to cover. And I'm doing it for $9 because I want I want 1,000 women to attend. I want 1,000 women to say, you know what? If I don't understand my herstory with money, I'm doomed to repeat it. So that was the second thing that I had to do. And if you're interested in getting a live stream ticket, go to bit.ly slash Dallas Millions and click on the live stream option. That was the second thing I had to do. I had to reshape my mindset about money. And the third thing I had to do, anybody know what it is? Anybody, can anybody guess? So I had to fight fear. I had to fight my mindset about money. What's the third thing I had to fight? In order to get here. Can anybody guess? You know, Pastor John, that's that's a given. Trusting God is a given. And I'm going to tell you what I said yesterday. We all trust God, but do we act like it? See, we all believers, but do we act like it? So I don't say trust God because to me, trusting God is a given. But if you ain't taking action, are you really trusting God? The third thing I had to do was fight myself. I had to fight myself. I had to fight my sense of self-worth. Good morning, Ramonica. Hey, love. I had to fight my sense of um, obligation to everybody else. I had to fight my sense of confidence, uh, my sense of self-esteem. I had to fight. I had to fight. To understand that I was worthy. So in order to be truly free, there's three things you got to fight. You got to fight your fear. You have to. There's no two ways about it. Because it is the fear that stands between you and the action that you need to take to get to where you need to be. So I had to fight fear. I had to fight my mindset about money. Some of y'all are still fighting it. And this this is what you fail to realize. I was talking to a client last night. Good morning, Wanda. Welcome. I was talking to a client last night. And she was like, well, coach, I got my landing page. And I got this. And I got that. And it looks pretty. And it's this. And it's that. And nobody's still saying yes to me. The reason nobody is saying yes to you is number one. You're not asking the right people. And number two, you're not asking the right way. And and I tell people all the time that I know people with ugly websites and ugly branding that make over a million dollars a year. That's a true story. So you don't know what you don't know. But I, I, it, once you shift your understanding of money and understand That is the marketing messages behind whatever you put out there. Everything changes. You have to have refined marketing messages that call out to the people that you're working to serve. Period. So I had to fight. I had to fight my fear. I had to fight my understanding of money. Because regardless as to what's going on in the economy. There's always a way to get people to say yes. And last but not least, I had to fight myself. I had to fight my comfort zone. I had to fight my my sense of, uh, do I belong here? Do, do, am I worthy of this? You know, and and it's, it's, it's an on, all three of those are an ongoing battle. Every time you get to go to a next level, You got to fight fear all over again. Every time you get ready to go to a next level of financial, you got to fight your money, your money mindset all over again. And every time you get ready to go to another level in life and living, you got to fight yourself all over again. 
And it's, it's just a true story. It never stops. I think a lot of you think that when I get over this hump, I'll be done. But there'll always be humps. So what you, what you do is you become proficient in getting over the humps. I'm going to repeat that again in case you missed it. You think that, oh, once I learn this, or once I learn that, or once I do this, or once I do that, I'm going to be over the hump. But that's not true. For every... <laughs> Girl, you Miss Rosemary. She getting it done. Miss Rosemary, you know they can see you on camera. Come say hi. She's so sweet. Miss Rosemary says she might go on the road with me, y'all. Hi, y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> they say she in the background getting it done. Yes. <laughs> Baby, clean up this horrible office. She is. They say, hey, Miss Rosemary. But you got to get, once you know, listen to me, once you know that something is a factor, at some point you got to say to yourself, when am I just going to get good at it? When am I just going to get good at fighting the battle? That's, that's my housekeeper. When am I going to get better at fighting fear? When am I going to get, hey, Gerald, welcome to the family. When am I going to get good at fighting my mindset about money? When am I going to get good at fighting myself? You cannot keep staying in the same place and expecting different results. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, um, so can I tell you guys a quick story? And guys, for those of you who want to attend uh, the presentation tomorrow night, it's only $9 in honor of uh, International Women's Day, bit.ly slash Dallas Millions. I went out there and I said, hey guys, what do, you want, what do you want me to talk about? And they said, we want, we want you to talk about women and their relationship with money. So we're going to be talking about the her story, not his story. See, we got to stop calling it that. It can't be his story if it's my story because I'm a girl, right? That's right, Renewed 127, bit.ly slash Dallas Millions. Click on the live stream option. So it, it can't be... His story, if I'm a girl, it's got to be her story. And I use the dollar sign for the S's, right? So we've got to understand how we can earn more, save more, and invest more as women. And that's what we're going to be talking about tomorrow night. It's a live presentation. Uh, I'll be in Dallas, bit.ly slash Dallas Millions. Now, I'm going to tell y'all a story about why it's mandatory that you get help. And how I can trace the beginnings of my business back to this specific day. Um, Ch I, for those of you who don't know, I used to be a vice president at Chase. And Chase had sent us to a performance coaching session. Similar to what I do with my clients now. Uh, that performance coaching session was $5,000 for us to attend for two days. And going into the session, they ask that you outline what 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 performance thing you wanted to accomplish as a result of that session. And I was already a top performer at Chase, number one in sales in the world, number one in customer service in the world, number one with productivity and efficiency in the world. Like out of like 200 some managers, me and my team. Numero uno, give me another team. We numero uno again. Give me another team. Couple months, we numero uno again. So I had already did that. You know, I already mastered that. I had the t-shirt. You know, I'm looking around the class like, what am I going to get out of this, right? Because I'd already, I'd already mastered that part. So I said, you know, I want to take something personally away from this class. And I had always wanted to write a book. And so I said, that's what I'm going to get out of this class. I'm going to finally write my book. So I went to the class for two days. And that class, it, it helped me address some things with fear and, and my sense of self-worth and revenue. And it really showed me how to be on the path as aggressively for myself. This, this, is, a, this is a takeaway. Can you be as aggressive for yourself as you was at a job? 
Can you be lights on for yourself like you was for a job? Can you be employing a month for yourself like you did when you was working for somebody else? And that's normally where we drop the ball. But that, that class, which was held on March 5th and March 6th of 2011, like I said, almost seven years to the day, is what got me to where I am now. It was held by a company called Stop at Nothing. They're out of Florida. Uh, what's their name? Sue and uh, what's the husband's name? I ought to come up with it in a minute it because I had it because I email them like every two or three years. I used to send them copies of every new book that came out because I was one of their success stories. You know, I didn't just take the information and use it for corporate America. I took that information and I used it for myself. And I need I actually need to send them something um, for my seventh anniversary. So that was a three part thing. And the, the first part was what was most critical. And it's something, all right, Liz, love you. It's something we're going to be working on this weekend. I'm having a Mo Money Masterclass. Uh, I'm kicking off a Mo Money Masterclass series, which like every other Saturday, I'm either going to do a live or virtual event uh, in some city. I'm doing this one. It's going to be virtual. But if you go to bit.ly slash fightfear18, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to discuss what is the cost of your fear? Hmm. I want you to think about that real quick. What is your fear costing you? So I'll tell you from a personal perspective, this is what my fear was costing me. And even when I allow fear to get in my way right now, this is what my fear cost me. Fear cost me my next level. Somebody typed it in. Fear is costing you. Your next level. Don't forget, if you haven't shared the broadcast, make sure you share the broadcast. We're going to be giving away $20 gift cards to my digital store. Fear, make sure you put in hashtag shared once you share. Fear is costing you your next level. Wherever it is that you can see I can see what's a good book title for yourself. If I can see multi-millions from where I am right now, fear is costing me my ability to get there. If I can see leaving my job from where I am right now, fear is costing me my ability to get there. If I can see earning six figures in my business from where I am right now, I can all but promise you fear is keeping you from your next level. And the reason why is that the actions that are required for your next level are not being taken. And therefore, the opportunity to move to that next level is being denied to you because you are operating in fear as opposed to operating in faith and being on the move. The only way you get to your next level is you have to move there. Look at your neighbor, somebody, and type in move there. The only way you get to your next level, you can't wish yourself there. You can't dream yourself there. You can't teleport yourself there. The only way you get to the next level is you have to physically do the work that is required to move yourself to the next level. Nobody can move you there. I'm telling you, it gets deep. So when you look at what is keeping you from moving to the next level, you got to say to yourself, it is my fear. And fear is costing me my next level. Let me tell you something else. Fear is costing you your financial security. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, ouch. See, you think you're financially secure at a job. You're not. The only way to be truly financially secure is to learn how to operate and generate money with these two hands. Because see, you control how much these two hands work. You control how much these two hands do. You control how much these two hands charge. You control that. And so at the point where you're operating in fear, you're afraid to raise your prices. 
You're afraid to go out and get more clients. You're afraid to market your business every day. You're afraid to post your stuff on social media. Uh, does this sound familiar to anybody? You're afraid to do discovery calls. You're afraid to uh, do a telesummit. You're afraid to do a webinar. You're afraid to send emails. You're afraid to uh, collect email addresses. All of these things, the culmination of all of this fear is costing you your financial security. You got to fight your fear. You got to fight your fear or you got to say to yourself, I'm resigned to just stay where I am. Anybody okay with just saying, staying where they are? Somebody better type in, not me, coach. You better rebuke that right now. You better type it in, not me, coach. How many of you are okay with, I'm just going to stay where I am. I'm just going to stay at the job that I'm at. I'm just going to stay at the earnings that I'm at. I'm just going to stay at the house that I'm at. I'm just going to keep driving the car that I drive. I'm just going to keep taking the vacations that I take or no vacations. I'm just going to keep living from paycheck to paycheck. I'm just going to keep robbing Peter to pay Paul. I'm just going to stay where I am. Your fear is costing you your financial security. And if you say to yourself, I don't want to stay where I am, you have to be willing to do absolutely positively whatever it takes to fight your fear. So Rice said, how can it be done with little to no resources and or guidance? You can't not have both, baby. I'm having a fear masterclass this weekend it's $99 for my unlimited live stream clients, and it's $199 for, every, for everybody else. bit.ly slash fightfear18. So hold, please. Let me show you how you afford it. There is something that you can do. There is something that you can sell, something that you can offer somebody to come up with $199. See, you choose not to have resources, and you choose... Not to have guidance. Somebody say true story coach. Because I'm telling my story right now. Of how I had to get to where I am right now. And that means. That if I needed a, a, a update on my website. And that meant I had to sell. Five cakes. To come up with a hundred dollars. That's what I did. If I had to sell. Twenty fish plates. To come up with two hundred dollars. That's what I did. If I knew that. Uh, St. Patrick's Day was coming. I would make 20 uh, green gift baskets and sell them for $30 each and come up with $600 to invest in my business. At some point, if you say I have no guidance and no resources, you are missing your number one resource, which is yourself. Somebody look at your number and say, neighbor and say, wow. You are missing your number one resource. Girl, it's been times. Can I tell a true story? Can I tell a true story? It's been times that I needed to invest in knowledge or the next level for my business. And I literally have walked around my house and said, what do I really not need? Because when I get to where I'm going, I can get it all back. See, you so busy. You so busy clinging to that to them rags that you got. You so busy clinging to them pennies that you got. You so busy clinging clinging to that hoopty that you got, to that shack that you got. And once I realize that I can either use use these two hands to make money or I can either let go of whatever I can in this house to get me to where I'm going because when I get where I'm going, I can get it all back. I don't think you really understand what these seven years took from me and what I had to give up to get to where I am right now. Because see, let me show you an action. When you're holding on to something, you can't grab nothing else. When you're holding on to something, you can't grab nothing else. 
I've got classes that cost $59 a week. And I see people saying they can't afford $59 a week. Get out my face. I don't mean it to be disrespectful. I had to spend thousands and thousands of dollars as a single parent with no child support, three kids in private school to get where I am. I had to stay up late. I had to bake cakes and cater and make gift baskets. I would literally fall asleep at my desk every night. And you say you can't afford $59 a week? For premium learning? Get out my face. You don't want it. You don't want it. You couldn't. Because I could take a case of water. I could take a case of water. I buy it for $3 at the grocery store. 24 bottles of water. 24 bottles of water. Put it on some ice and go to the park and sell all 24 of them bottles of water for $2 a bottle. And make $50. I can do it every single day. I can do it every single day. 5 times 50 is 250. You don't want it. Hmm. You don't really want it. And that's okay. But stop lying to yourself like you do. Because if you really want it. It's a cost to it. You're right. You can't get it done with no guidance. Keep trying that and you're going to end up spending money. <laughs> you're going to end up spending more money with no guidance. Come on now. Than you are if you just went on and bought you a little piece of guidance. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you something. The beginning of the year, I said, Lord, no tea, no shade. Keep them away from me. Keep the people away from me that don't really want to make six and seven figures. Keep the people away from me that just want to talk about it. Keep the people away from me that don't want to make the same sacrifices that I made. I don't care if you talk to Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Steve Harvey, Tyler Perry. They made sacrifices. Steve Harvey slept in his car. Tyler Perry slept in his car. You really think you're going to get to where I am generating seven figures a year and not paying nobody, not making no sacrifices? Get away from me. That's a true story. And, and, and stop running around saying, I don't know. It's too many ways to find out. I got a Facebook master class starting. And a live stream uh, class starting. And you can get both of the 10-week courses for $59 a week. Both courses, not $59 each. $59 for the, both the two with a year commitment. You can't come with $59 a week for a year. You don't want it. I'm sorry. And I'm tired of people lying and saying, oh, coach, I want to be like you. And uh, oh, and calling me coach and you ain't even paying me. Bro, I had to sacrifice so much to get here. So much to get here. It is just not as easy as people would lie to you and have you think. You got to give up something to get something. You got to give up something to get something. So you got to make a hard and fast decision. You got to say either... I'm going to give up this life I don't want. And I'm going to fight my fear and get to that next level. Or I'm going to just keep holding tight to this job till they let me go. And I'm going to keep holding tight to this hoopty until it break down. And I'm going to keep holding tight to this house that I live in until they kick me out. And I'm going to keep holding tight to everything in life that I don't want because I am too afraid to let go of this foolishness to go get what I'm supposed to have. And yes, I said supposed to have. And yes, because it's your birthright. And that's like, that's right, Lonnie. We buy what we want and beg for what we need. Somebody needs to send me a message today on Facebook that says, Coach, I'm ready. Coach, I'm ready to learn how to make money on Facebook. 
Coach, I'm ready to learn how to make money on live stream. Coach, I'm ready to spend $59 a week for what you paid tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars to learn. Took me seven years. It ain't going to take you that long because you got guidance. I was telling Kiara that yesterday. I said, Kiara, it blows my mind to even think that I'm telling you stuff that took me five and six and seven years to figure out. Do you know where you're going to be in seven years under this level of guidance? You get the benefits. You get the benefit of seven years. Look, Miss Rosemary was cleaning my shelf this morning. Let me tell you something. You'll see nothing on that shelf but books. Look at the books you see on that shelf. You can't even buy that many books for $59 a week. And you definitely can't read them all. Because if you could, you would. You'd have done it already. So at some point, you got to say to yourself, I'm willing and ready to start the journey. And that's another thing. You start the journey and six weeks later, you ready to get off the train. I've been on this train seven years. It took me seven years to generate seven figures last year. Do the math. First year, I didn't even clear $100,000. Second year, I cleared a hundred. Third year, I cleared, I cleared a couple hundred. Fourth year, I cleared three or four hundred. Fifth year, I cleared about six hundred thousand. Seventh year, seven figures. With not the level of help that I'm going to give you. I'm straight up giving you the formula. Straight up giving you the blueprint. And let me tell you what the difference is. Will you execute? Type in yes or no right now. Will you execute? Will you execute? Will you do this thing when you don't feel like doing it? Will you do it when you're sick? Will you do it when you're tired? Will you give this the same commitment that you give a job? Will you give this the same energy that you give a job? Will you give this the same uh, uh, honor and loyalty that you give a job? And that's it. I can promise you. That you'll make seven figures quicker with me teaching you what to do than you'll ever make it a job. Then I can promise you that. I, Cause look, if I'd have stayed at my job, it would have took me seven years to make seven figures. Not at once. Not at once. Not at once. The the total that I earned over seven years would have been seven figures, guys. That job is a racket. JWK said, that's true. I've watched it for two years. Some of y'all are watching me and you're missing the point. Good morning, Felicia. You were not set here to watch me on television. You will sit here to get a ticket and get on this train and take a ride towards your destiny. How many of you believe that? You weren't sit here to watch me be successful. You were sit here to buy you a $59 a week ticket and get on the success train and ride towards your destiny. How long will you sit there? That's what the Bible said. How long? How long will you sit there clinging to a life that you don't even really want? It's my seven year anniversary. I had to fight my fear. I had to fight my fear. So when I said, what can I do for the people? Because what's the number one thing holding people back is fear. So I got a master class Saturday from 10 to 1. If you're already in Unlimited Livestream University, it's only $99. You, you renewed $127. It's true. You can ask my clients that. She said, what I know is that you aren't just skill, skillfully influencing. You truly want us to win. Let me tell you something, uh, Renew 127. I had to divorce. No, listen to me, guys. Shopify is a platform. PayHip is a platform. Squared Space is a platform. You can have a million platforms, but if you don't know how to sell, you're not going to make any money. 
So no, I don't teach you Shopify. I teach you business. Does that make sense? See, y'all are looking at platforms. I want to learn Shopify. I want to learn Squarespace. That's, that doesn't make sense. I want to learn WordPress. I want to learn landing pages. No, no. No, I teach business. And with business knowledge, wherever you are, the customers are going to find you and do business with you. You can have a million dollar website. I teach apps. JWK, I'm the master of teaching building content. How could I not teach you building content? And I'm on here every day, three or four times a day with something new and fresh. So that shows you that I know what I'm doing. I'm the master of creating products because I always have something for the people. I'm the master of what I do. See, some things you ain't got to ask me. Some things you can, you know, the Bible was crystal clear. It said, you will know me by my fruit. Did the word tell y'all that? You will know me by my fruit. See, I'm not a coach that says, I'm a coach that does. And so if you watch me, like really watch me, it's Pastor John, how long you been watching me? I've been here consistently. And some coaches show up twice a year. Y'all flock to them, buy their stuff, and then they go back into the cave. And you don't hear from them no more to the next year when it's time for them to come up with something else. Boo, I be here. I be here. Real, straight up, real talk. You, 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 you quit letting them folks that don't do teach you. Hmm. Tisha said, you got good fruit, coach, and fruit that remains. That's a true story. You got people out there saying they are expert at email marketing, but they don't never send no emails out. And then you spending money to sign up for their class, and you wonder why their stuff don't work? Their stuff doesn't work for you because their stuff doesn't work for them. And that's no tea, no shade. That's me telling you to use your power of discernment. That's no tea, no shade. But Anthony Robbins says success leaves clues. You've seen me climb. You've seen me grow. I haven't done it under the cover of night. I didn't just instantly come out of nowhere. You saw the transition. You saw my growth. This is seven years later. Took me seven years to have my first seven-figure year. Do you want a ticket to ride? It's a yes or no. That's a yes or no. So your fear is costing you your next level. Your fear is costing you your financial security. You know what the biggest thing, arguably, and it depends on who you are. Do you know what the biggest thing that your fear is costing you? It's costing you your freedom. Y'all, I was in shackles. You don't hear me. Hmm. You don't hear me. I was in shackles at a job, y'all. Can we talk about that? Anybody here that just ain't really cool with their job? You know, you ain't got to say it because your boss might be watching. But in anybody here that just, you may even like your job. But you just know that there's more to life than that job. So the job had me shackled. It had me shackled financially. Somebody say preach coach. It had me shackled mentally. Somebody say preach coach. It had me shackled spiritually. Somebody say preach coach. Man, I work more Sundays at that job than anybody I know. And every time I would be like, I got to find me a church home. Here I am, back working Sundays. A job had me shackled. That job would take my creativity and steal it, misuse it, and abuse it. Somebody say preach coach. And then, that job had my self-confidence and self-esteem in bondage. I didn't know my worth. I didn't know what I was capable of. 
I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know that what I was doing for them, I could do for myself. I didn't know. You know, I, I didn't know really, to be honest, I just didn't know even how much I was contributing. Because they're not going to really tell you, because if they really tell you, they got to really pay you. And it wasn't until I started trying to get out. And then once I left, that I realized the contribution that I was making. That job had my creativity. A lot of you too. I see it when you get in class. Your creativity is so stifled. Because for so long you've been taught how to think and what to say and what to do. Exactly, Tasha. That's why they don't let you take too much vacation. Because you see it when you're on vacation. And, and, and so what happens is because they've brainwashed you. In your mind, you feel like it ain't nowhere else for you to go. And that's how I felt. I felt like I would do that all my life. And then here comes along, here comes that one class. And that one class was all I needed to see. Now that wasn't all I took. I had to invest and invest and invest and invest on a personal le personal level. But I was committed to get to where I could see myself going. And that's what you got to ask yourself. What is the level of your commitment? So, yes, your fear is costing you your next level. Your fear is costing you your financial security. Your fear is costing your free freedom. Let me tell you what else your fear is costing you. Your fear is costing you your creativity. What's the Bible say about uh, witty inventions? What's the Bible say? Come on, somebody. Come on, pastor, somebody. Your, 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 your fear won't allow you. To do like your daddy. And create at the level of a creator's children. You didn't hear me. Your fear. Has you by the throat. And your fear will not let you. Operate. Under. The mantle in which you were born. And, 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 and it said we're born in his image. Right. Good morning kingdom queen. And what does that mean? That we're born creators. Come on now. That means that that next idea you have, it may very well be a $100,000 idea. It may be a million dollar idea. Uh, is how many bags is in there? No, no. Black eyed peas and cabbage. Cabbage. No, the, the, hold please. The bag beans. Black eyed peas. One pan. And cabbage. Just one stick of butter and Tony's uh, uh, Lowry's. And one of the turkeys. Yeah, but but one one turkey leg is black eyed peas and one turkey leg is cabbage. Okay. You, you see the cabbage in there? Uh -huh. Not lettuce. No, cabbage. <laughs> Sorry, please. I, I, I got to give Mr. Dinner right before he get up. Hello? So, th does that make sense what I'm saying? So we're created in the image of a creator. So those books that you've been wanting to write, where are they? And that that business idea you had, where where is that at? And 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 that school you wanted to start, what what happened to that? And all of these ideas that you get, where are they? And because you can't fight and win against your fear, your creativity, your birthright is being squandered. And if you get beyond, you get beyond your fear, you'll be like me. I have so many ideas, it's crazy. And you do too. You're just not free to create yours, and I am. And I don't have no problem about putting them out there. And people are always like, Coach, you got so much stuff going on. But I got 150,000 followers. Surely somebody wants something that I'm about to put out there. Hello? Y'all don't hear me, do you? So some of y'all need me to teach you how to teach you to create. And I'm not teaching you how to create because you got that skill from your daddy. I'm just teaching you how to release the skill. 
And that's the difference. See, as a coach, all I do is I just help you unleash what your daddy gave you. I just help you light the 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 kindling and the and the and the wood and the accelerant that your father already has given you. That's all I do. That's all I do. I just tell you, here's the blueprint on how to use what your daddy gave you. That's it. But when it's all said and done, you got to ask yourself, all right, Renew 127, I'm going to be looking for you. You got to ask yourself, what are you willing to do to fight this battle and win? So I got a Fight Fear Masterclass Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. A VIP day of this magnitude would normally cost you $1,000. I'm doing it for one ninety nine. It's well. It's ten modules. It's well worth a thousand dollars. But you got to say to yourself, "How bad do I want it?" Bit. Ly slash fight fear one eight. If you're in unlimited live stream university, look in your groups for the invites for only ninety nine dollars. But I'm just saying. There it is Proverbs eight twelve. Wisdom dwell with prudence. And find out knowledge of witty inventions. And guys, we all have that skill. What are you going to do about it? So, your fear, so far we've talked about it, man. That fear is costing you a lot. It's costing you your next level. It's, your fear is costing you financial security. Your fear is costing you your freedom. Your fear is costing you your creativity. What if I told you your fear? Your fear was costing you your legacy. What would you say? And guys, if you haven't shared the broadcast, make sure you share the broadcast. We're giving away a $20 gift certificate to my digital store on Periscope and on Facebook. So make sure you share. What if I were to tell you? And you know, the word says a wise man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. What if I were to tell you that your fear is costing you your legacy? I don't know about you guys, but I want to be remembered. I love my babies. I do. I love my kids. Uh, and I'm going to love my grandkids. And I'm going to love my great-grandkids. And I want to be remembered. I want to be remembered as the one that broke the yoke. I want to be the one that uh, that's remembered as the one who, you know, I, I severed the curse over, over wealth in our family. I want to be known as the one... You know, like Mr. Hilton, they still living off of uh, Paris, still living off his money. I want to be I want to be remembered for that. I want to be remembered as the one who taught my children the most important lesson you could ever give a child. And that's how to generate revenue with your own two hands and that you are worthy to do so. And that no man on earth is your ruler, that only your only ruler, your only ruler sits high and looks low, and that no man on earth has control over your destiny. Only you, that's legacy. Let me, let me tell you, legacy extends far beyond money. Legacy extends far beyond revenue. A lot of people look at, look at legacy and be like, legacy is revenue. No. Legacy is the lessons that I teach my children the things that they remember when I'm no longer here. Here I come, Chanel. Give me five minutes. Legacy are the lessons that I teach my children. The way that my lineage operates, even in my absence. So the biggest lesson that I teach my children, the biggest legacy that I leave to my children is that you are worthy of becoming a seven, eight, nine, ten figure earner. Why do you think the Kardashians earn so much? Because their mother taught them that you're worthy. Girl, it was years before I even knew what them babies did. Hello? But because they walked into the world with an expectation of earning. See, that's legacy. Legacy is what expectation are you leaving for your children? Have you given your children the expectation that they will create millions? Have you given them the blueprint? Have you showed them the way? Are you leading by example? See, that's legacy. 
You're not living in coulda, woulda, shoulda. You're living in, look at the fruits of my labor and you can do the same. And no man, no man, no man is your ruler. No man is your ruler and you can create revenue in this free commerce society every time you get an idea. What legacy are you leaving for your children? That's the true story. We don't think about that. Too many of us are leaving with bills still unpaid. Too many of us are leaving with dreams still not lived. Too many of us are leaving this planet with promises not yet fulfilled. Too many of us are leaving this planet with our created we are, with our creativity, with the books that we were supposed to write, with the businesses that we were supposed to start. Too many of us are not doing the work so that the next generation doesn't have to start from scratch. At some point, you got to say to yourself, I want more for my kids, not Jordans, not Tom Ford, not Michael Kors. I want more from my children, real estate, commercial buildings, businesses, intellectual property, residual income. I want to leave my kids a real legacy. I want to leave an inheritance for my children's children. And I don't want fear to keep me away from it. I don't know what else to tell you. At some point, you got to say to yourself, I got to fight. I got to not only fight this fear, but I got to learn how to win against this fear because the fear is stealing from you, literally. So we've already talked about your fears costing you your next level. Your fears costing you your financial security. Your fears costing you your freedom. Your fears costing you your creativity. Your fear is costing you your purpose. Your fear is costing you your legacy. And last but not least, your fear is costing you real happiness. You cannot really be happy when you are not 100% of what you could, would, and should be. Is that black IV? Yeah. Does that make sense? Hey, Joshua. You cannot really be happy when you know that you've got more on the inside of you. And you look at people and you say, well, they making it. And this person did that. And they... And we're, we're human, so we're going to compare ourselves to other people. You could not. You could not be happy with less than what God said you're supposed to have. You couldn't. And it's not even a material thing. It's an accomplishment thing. It's a life thing. And so when it's all said and done, when I look back at before I started this journey and how much I used to sleep, and now I realize I wasn't tired. I was uninspired. <laughs> At some point, I, I, I ran up on a hump. And I was like, this could not be it. This could not be it. Going to work every day, picking up dry cleaning, picking up the kids, coming home, cooking dinner, going to sleep. Wake up the next day, get up, cook breakfast, clean the kitchen. Go out the door, stop by the grocery store, pick up the kids, come home, cook dinner, go to bed. Wake up the next morning, go to work. Same job, same boss I can't stand. Get off work, go pay bills, pick up the kids, come home, cook dinner, clean up, go to bed. At one point, I looked at my life and said, girl. You didn't sign up for this. You did not sign up for this. This can't be it. What's that song say? Uh, and that's not how the story ends. This can't be it. 
And I had to I had to be fearless enough. I had to be strong enough. And I had to be committed enough to fight my fear. Are you that committed? Once I realize this can't be it. It's got to be more to it than this. And I can see other people seem like they doing all right. You know, this can't be it. And I started to question and push the envelope. And I'm going to tell y'all this and I'm going to let y'all go. Something I told somebody the other day. You're going to be amazed that when you take two, when you take two steps, God's going to take 10. When you take 10 steps, he's going to take 100. When he sees you trying, he going to try even more. He going to try even harder. And that's been my story. I couldn't have gotten here by myself. But I also hadn't, couldn't have got here. Um, I couldn't have got here without perseverance. And that's the truth. So guys, Sunday, my Mo Money Fear Masterclass, How to Fight Fear and Win, bit.ly slash fightfear18. If you know fear, if you know fear is standing between you and the next level, then you must address it. And your inability or unwillingness to do so could cost you so much. Don't keep paying the price for losing a battle with fear. bit.ly slash fightfear18. It's going to be an amazing 10-part masterclass. We're going to fight the fear, procrastination, perfection, you name it. We're going to give our name up. We're going to give our fear name. We're going to put our boxing gloves on, and we're going to win this battle. All right? Coach, love you. I'll see you later.